Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. So for today, I would like to show you some of the Mammillarias that I have in my collection. I have here a selection on the table. I have a few more but they are in big pots so they're quite heavy. <laughs> but I will show them to you later on. So these are Mammillaria. Mammillaria is one of the largest genera in the cactus family. There are currently over 200 known species and varieties of Mammillaria. In terms of how they look, they vary. Some are globose, like they look like a little ball. Some, um, as they grow older, they look like so they have a cylindrical shape like this one over there. Some grow long and they look like big worms. <laughs> they crawl. So this is a Mammillaria spinosissima subspecies Pilcayensis. It has the tendency to crawl. I think in habitat, this would crawl on the ground. In fact, I saw some growers who have this in their collection and it's a mature one and they were growing it like a hanging plant. <laughs> okay, and then some also would um, be mounding. They, were, they will form mounds. Okay, and then there are also, this is a Mammillaria elongata. This one is long and thin. The spines can vary as well. Some have fish hook spines. This has fish hook spines. Some have like feathery soft spines that you can actually squeeze. This is a Mammillaria plumosa. Some have long and um, really sharp spines. The main feature of a Mammillaria is its symmetrically and spirally arranged tubercles. The apex of the tubercles bear the spines, while the base may bear bristles or wool. The flowers and eventually the fruits are formed at the base of the tubercles. The presence of tubercles is not unique to the genus Mammillaria. Other genus like Coripantha and Escobaria also has tubercles. But another distinguishing characteristic of a Mammillaria is its flowers, which forms a crown on top of the cactus. Flowers develop not on the fresh growth, but rather on the second year growth. Generally, Mammillaria have small flowers and they form the flowers on the crown or on the top of the cactus. But some have big flowers, like this one right here. This is a Mammillaria Barcella schumanni. And look at that. This is one of my favorite Mammillaria. Look at how big this flower is. So see, it's, it forms a crown. So that's um, one distinct characteristic of Mammillaria. They flower on the top, okay? And this one also has a very big flower. This is a Mammillaria guazoiana. This one has a neon pink colored flower. This one is Mammillaria tetracintra. This is actually native in Nevada and it has big flowers as well for a Mammillaria. Another Mammillaria with a big flower is this Mammillaria senilis. This is a big red flower. In terms of general care, there is no specific care, at least for me, that I do for Mammillaria except that I give them lots of sunshine. But you know, the care is the same. I fertilize them during spring and summer and then I just water whenever the soil is dry. But um, they can still rot if you overwater them. In fact, here is a Mammillaria senilis that just rotted. <laughs> Yes, so I overwatered this so they can still rot or if you disturb them when they are dormant, they can also rot. One thing I noticed about my Mammillaria is they all love sunshine. <laughs> so if you have a Mammillaria, give them plenty of sunshine but they can also burn so uh, take note of that. You might need a shade cloth at the height of summer if you get lots of sunshine during summer they will need shade cloth mine has a 50 percent shade cloth during summer but the rest of the year they can actually take full sun if you don't give them enough sun just like any cactus they will etiolate or the tip will start growing tall and thin and you will also notice the tubercles they would grow far apart from each other 
This is a Mammillaria gracilis fragilis that is etiolated and it was growing in a shaded area in my backyard. Most of the Mammillaria will need uh, sunlight in order for their flowers to open. Right now it is a bit cloudy so these are not open. I am fortunate this this opened but as you can see this other Mammillaria also has its flowers closed because it needs sunlight to fully open their flowers. In terms of propagation, you can do a propagation by offsets like this one. They would offset from the bottom or sometimes from the top and you can just take them off and uh, plant them in a separate pot. You can also propagate Mammillaria by seeds. So these are the fruits after a Mammillaria flower flowers they will form fruits usually they're red or orange or yellow and they look like little peppers right there that is the fruit if you open that up there's seeds inside that you can sow in this pot i have a mammillaria spinosissima and this is a mammillaria microhelia if you notice here on the side there is an offset that is forming once that grows bigger i just take it out and plant it in separate soil. Another way on how you can propagate a mammillaria, although I have not tried it myself, is by propagating one of the tubercles. So sometimes, you know, especially with hooked mammillarias like those, sometimes they would stick to you and when you pull on it, you will accidentally pull out a, a whole tubercle. You can actually plant that tubercle and it will form a separate plant. Like I said, I have not tried it myself, although I think I accidentally grew <laughs> or revived a cactus by the tubercles. This is a Mammillaria plumosa, and believe it or not, this suffered from um, rotting. So this one rotted to the core everything to the core i will try to show the video of this if i can find it when it had rotted and the inside was hollow and all that was left was part of the tubercles that was still alive anyway when i found out that it had rotted when i looked at it lo and behold i was surprised the tubercles were growing roots so what i just did is i placed this on top of this soil it has been a year now and I believe that this has rooted because it is firmly right there in the pot. See, even if I tug on it, it won't budge. And look, it is now forming a little pop on the side right here. Okay, so that's how I know that this has recovered. So I think I accidentally revived <laughs> this cactus using the tubercles or the strength of the tubercles. A mature mammillaria will exhibit dichotomy. So they are dichotomous, meaning the axis or the growing point will split, forming two heads. This is an example of a mammillaria that is uh, forming two heads. So it used to be just one and it split in the middle. And now, as you can see, there's two growing points, one here and one here. So this is an example of a dichotomy in Mammillaria. This is a Mammillaria rodanta that also recently split its head and this head is now forming flowers. So this is how it looks from the side. So this has age to it. And here is another Mammillaria that has split on the top. Looks like eyes staring back at you, doesn't it? <laughs> So that is my video for today featuring some of the mammillarias that I have in my collection. Stay tuned at the end of this video because I will be showing you a slideshow of the different pictures of my mammillaria with their flowers. Okay, if you like this video guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, follow me on Facebook and in Instagram. And until next time, bye everyone and cheers!